My name is Jackson DeRose. I am the project manager of Cozy Keepsakes, which is a JA company out of Mantino High School. I just want to thank you so much for giving me this scholarship. It really means a ton, and it's going to allow me to pursue my future with a greater freedom. I will now read my essay. The Junior Achievement Company program is truly one of the most valuable experiences I believe a student can have. The real world lessons I learned throughout the program are something even a business class could not teach. The classes are even more valuable for students who plan to have a career in the business field, such as myself. Of the multitude of lessons I have learned about running a successful business through my time in JA, four stick out. Being organized, being consistent, setting goals, and working hard. It may seem rudimentary to some, certainly seem that way to me, but the organization of a business cannot be overlooked. This proves itself to be especially true in the case of Cozy Keepsakes. We not only had to keep track of money and forms, but we also had to keep track of t-shirts and which t-shirts went with which order. We had struggled with this for the first few days until the sales team ended up losing $20 in the mess of forms, shirts, and money. This situation prompted us to come up with a better system for organizing. We put our heads together and began using a system where orders were neatly organized in boxes to prevent confusion. The first thing the sales team would do each day was check each order for the money before any logging was done. Furthermore, to ensure every order was tracked properly, each order number was taped to the shirt all the way through production. This system kept the sales and supply chain teams in sync and without confusion. After this system was put in place, the entire company ran more smoothly and efficiently. This experience taught me how truly important organization is in running a successful business. Sure, $20 is not that much when companies are dealing with hundreds of thousands of dollars. However, $20 for a small company like ours is thousands of dollars for large companies. This being the case, something as simple as poor organization can cost a business a lot of money. On the other hand, high quality organization can save a business a lot of money. The one department of Cozy Keepsakes that stands out as being consistent is the marketing department. They always made sure to post on social media each day something that was connecting us to our customers. They would film me giving updates on what was going on at Cozy Keepsakes. People loved our videos and content, which created buzz around our company. This buzz helped us engage with the community and sell more pillows. Social media is such a powerful tool for business these days. An extremely important part of that is being consistent with posting and engaging with customers. Not in a way where it feels like constant spam, but in a way that brings the business closer to the people. One tool that I largely undervalued at the start of Cozy Keepsakes was setting goals. In the beginning, we had one objective, to reach our sales goal. This all changed, however, when one of the members of the local Chamber of Commerce came in to give us advice on how we can be more successful. One of the things he asked me was, do you set goals every day? I responded that we did not. He informed me how setting goals gives employees something tangible to work towards and can be quite the motivator. So, starting the next day, I began writing a goal of how many pillows we were aiming to complete that day. To my surprise, this tactic worked wonderfully. Before setting goals, we were averaging around seven pillows a day. After we began setting goals, we were above 10 pillows on a daily basis. This tactic proved to be such a success because rather than simply making pillows, the supply chain team was working to meet a goal. Something as simple as giving them a number to strive for truly motivated them to be more efficient with their time. I can only imagine how well this could work in a larger business with increased incentive such as bonuses or days off. This tool has further shown me how valuable it is to keep employees motivated and striving towards a goal. Having an objective to reach gives everyone the same mission which they can then work together to achieve. Though all four of these concepts are important for running a successful business, none is as important as working hard. In a day where everyone is looking for a shortcut to make their goals easier to achieve, working hard is what separates the successful from the mediocre. Deciding to start a company that sews pillows when no one in the class knew how to sew may have seemed like a poor decision. However, we believed in our product and mission and we worked hard to attain our goal. It took a lot of work to make even one pillow, so everyone in the company had to wear multiple hats for the company to be successful. We would not have had it any other way. Working hard brings about a feeling of accomplishment and is the fastest, most reliable way to be successful. Every day going to JA class, my classmates and I knew we were in for 50 minutes of hard work, but we loved it because we believed our hard work would pay off. I will without a doubt be taking these concepts into both my collegiate and professional life 
as I am going to study music business in college and one day hope to start my own business. These concepts are tangible lessons that make me feel I am prepared for my studies and my future career because I wasn't simply taught them, but I experienced and learned them for myself. Though I have a lot more to learn, I am very grateful for my JA Company experience because it has brought me closer to attaining my life's goal.